I'm not jet lagged, you are. Welcome to week number 19. Yeah, 19. I'm gonna do a face mask to make myself feel better. Yes! If you guys saw my skincare video, you'll know that this is my favorite face mask right now. It's the most satisfying peely off face ma mask ever. So I'm gonna do this. And basically today it's like four o'clock in the afternoon already, but I woke up at nine o'clock and I sat and watched Big Little Lies, finished it, binge watched it and I finished it and it's amazing. Pretty tough to watch some parts of it, but it was really good. And then I've been sitting trying to tidy up my makeup room for about two hours and just not doing it. And then I've had really boring admin to do with my banks and stuff like that and my accounts which has been pretty stressful I'm not gonna lie it's not the best thing to deal with when you're jet lagged but I've managed and yep now I'm gonna put this face mask on wait for it to dry peel it off and I'm gonna tidy up my whole makeup room because it is a complete tip it is so messy all the stuff I've bought is all over the place when I was away I left it in a bit of a mess when I was leaving so I need to do that but I thought I would do a face mask, get all the plain crap out my face. And it, yeah, if you saw my skincare video, you'll know how much I love this silly mask. It peels off in the most satisfying way. It's just my favorite. So I thought I would treat my face, treat myself. And I know there's a couple on the website, so, and a few people asked me what it was, and it's this one here. Manuka Doctor Purifying Facial Peel. So that's what we're doing. A lot of you guys actually, oh God, there's too much of this now. A lot of you guys who watched last week's vlog, were super helpful and it turns out that I might have had cellulitis when I was away um, which is really gross but I looked it up and um, apparently mild cases can clear up themselves and I do feel a lot better I slept really well last night the swelling's gone way down it's still a little bit sore but it's like gone down you can't even see it anymore so I think I'm totally fine if I start to feel bad I promise I'll go to the doctors but I think I'm fine but thank you so much to anyone that was concerned um, but yeah, I feel I feel totally fine. And now, how long do I have to wait for this? 15 to 20 minutes until it's dry, and then we'll peel it off. And I will do it on camera because it is absolutely thrilling. baby. Aww. Look at this dog. Are you just chilling out next to me, boy? Look at that snoop. Mm. <laughs> Have a pleasant. 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 Have a Come on. What the fuck? What is this? What is this? Open it. Come here. Oh, okay. Stay here. Just hold you. That's nice. Hold up, please. Yeah. I don't have anything like this. I know. I don't have anything nice things. Oh man. Do you like it? Oh yeah, that's nice. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Where did you get okay, that? Take this out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you get that one in the key? No. Where'd you get that? I went a couple of days later. Fucking hell, this is Oh my god. That's wild. <laughs> and I filmed you. Oh my god. 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 This is the first day I've worn makeup since I've been home. I don't like it. Oh, I'm so cold! Hello! Um, it is 23 minutes past four. 
I mean, Jack are going to the fort. I need to get some stuff. You're good on the side and that side. I need to get some stuff and I can say it because this vlog will be out. But I am officially asking my bridesmaid and maid of honor to be my bridesmaid and maid of honor on Friday. Um, I have asked them all to meet me at Blythe Square, which is my favorite wee spa in Glasgow City Center. It's just really, really nice and it's the staff are always really nice and me and my mum used to go all the time so I've not been in ages but we're going to the spa for afternoon tea and we're going to ooh la la ooh la la and we're going to the spa for afternoon tea and then we're going to the thermal suite which is like the nice spa part it's just like it's really cosy it's got like hot pools and jacuzzis and stuff like that so we're going to do that <laughs> shut up um, and then what I'm doing is I'm making them up boxes and I've already got boxes sent I've already bought them and they've been delivered and it's basically got all their names on the top and then inside it asks them if they'll be my bridesmaids and stuff so I bought them a wee while ago and they got delivered you might have seen <laughs> at the beginning of this vlog I set up the camera sneakily and showed Jack my new tattoo which he had no idea I was doing and honestly it's, it's a big long story which I won't, I won't share, but there's more reasons than all the obvious for me getting this tattoo, but I'll show you it close up. So this is my new tattoo. It's Jack and I love her. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people love it and that's great, but there was a fair few comments people saying that I'm an idiot for doing that and that, uh, and that it's a bit crazy, but you asked me to marry it and I think that's forever, so I may as well get a tattoo. With your name on it because we're going to be like do you know what i mean yeah. so i think it's a wee bit it's a wee bit sad that people had negative stuff to say but it honestly didn't bother me we're going to the fort i need to get some some stuff for the boxes and we need to get some stuff because we're also me and jack are having a big engagement party um and we're both really excited i've always been one of these people that doesn't really like having parties for me i've never really had birthday parties i had one big birthday party when i was 16 and it was bomb it was so much fun so i've not really done it since then we're having it in the house yep we're having it in the house and we're just having like close friends so it's a pretty intimate party but i think it's going to be sick because ages ago an event company got in touch with me and they basically create bespoke experiences and they create them and they organize everything and they got in touch with me and they said that they would like to work with me and this was before me and Jack got engaged and then after we got engaged we were thinking about having a party and I just sent them over an email they're called buy me lifestyle I sent them over an email and I was like by the way I actually kind of do have an event mm -hmm. that I need to help plan in and they have been amazing so it's going to be a big silly party basically and it's all at our house you're coming up on the day before to set yep. up so the friday that we go to the spa is the day that the guys from buy me lifestyle i've been speaking to yasmin mostly um they're coming up on friday morning to start setting up stuff in the house and um, me and all the girls are going to the spa and then me and jack have actually got a, a thing to do on friday night where there's an audience with conor mcgregor and we were invited along to that and obviously me and Jack went all the way to Vegas to see the fight so it was amazing so we're really excited yeah, for that be, too be cool, yeah. so yeah it's kind of a bit of a busy week I feel really weird I've sat in my makeup room for about two days trying to get it all sorted out I ended up going through every single drawer cleaning out all my makeup which is just a stupid idea because I've been sitting there for hours doing it I've watched three Christmas movies <laughs> back to back I've ever watched Love Actually, it's When Harry Met Sally, and that's, that's, not, that's not a Christmas movie. When Harry Met Sally is not a Christmas movie, but it is. There's a bit. It's Christmas time, so it uh, makes me feel like Christmas. And then the holiday. They are the movies that I've watched today. You're allowed now. It's close enough, isn't it? Yeah, but everyone's going to get mad at me saying, "Jamie, you should be making Halloween tutorials, not watching Christmas movies." Uh, but I needed some time. Today's. Do a Santa Claus makeup. A Santa Claus makeup for Halloween. Cheeks. <laughs> I looked like that before doing my makeup. Now we're home and we're doing stuff. You're gonna see more of me talking this week. So there's that. I think this week's vlog's gonna be quite long. Funny how when I'm not there, the vlog's like 10 minutes long. Oh yeah, Jack, you are the <laughs> star. Without you, there is no content. <laughs> You're just so handsome. Did you eat? Hmm? Are you eating already? I did, they really lunchable. 
Why are you eating daily Lunchables? Because I like to feel like I'm 11 years old. Yeah. Remember I used to get them in my packed lunch when I was at school. Well, when I was at primary school. It's a taste of nostalgia. I'm far too cold to be doing this. I can't believe it. I can't believe how cold it is now. Bullshit. <laughs> this is some bullshit. <laughs> I feel like an Eskimo. I look like a fucking Eskimo now. You do look like an Eskimo. You can't say Eskimo anymore. I look like a... Was it Inuit. 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 I like that yellow jacket. <laughs> Colour of sunshine, and you put a tea light in that, but surely that would burn up here and then the rope would catch on fire. Tea lights can get quite hot. You want to get the Fast and Furious truck for no, Drogba? Get it for Drogba. That's pretty cool for Asda. <laughs> too glad to give a damn. I like this one too. Be bold, be brave, be you. <laughs> it's like uh, live, laugh, love. <laughs> live, laugh, love. <laughs> this is absolutely horrific. Why are you choosing that skin tone? That is not your skin tone. <laughs> That is honestly horrific. No, 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 no. Hello! Our dog! Our dog! Ah! I just didn't eat, got my nails did, how cool are these? I'm even more excited for next time because I'm getting flame nails. And now I need to walk to the other side of town and I'm getting my Botox and filler top up. I've not been for ages and ages, so I need to go and do that, but I need to go and take my makeup off and stuff. Hello. I'm getting numbed, I took all my makeup off. We've put a wee bit of the numbing cream on my neck because we're gonna try something, this is a bit crazy, but we're gonna try Botox in my neck because something that really bothers me is my chin. So I get a lot of comments about it, but basically I know how to take a really good selfie and make it look like I have a jawline, but unfortunately I don't really have a jawline. Um, there's something in America right now that I know a lot of people have had. They might not openly talk about it, but I know that they've had it and it's Kybella. And basically it's a thing that dissolves the fat under your chin. And I can guarantee you that the minute it hits here in the UK, I am gonna be the person to try it out and show you the before and after results because It'll literally make me so much happier if I didn't have a big chubby face. So I'm numbing my lips. I'm getting a tiny little bit put in the center here. And then I'm just going to get them a wee bit in my body and get my Botox done. And then we're going to try this in the neck and see what happens. So you guys are going to be pretty scared because I swell up quite a lot. But I've got ibuprofen. And this is all in time for the party on Saturday. And I've took my lip ring out. A lot of you guys asked me that. I take my lip ring out, get my lips done, put a little plastic retainer in it until my lips go back down and then I put my original jewellery back in. And that's how we do it. All done. Swelling already. No. I'm fabulous. Please Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. My face is a bit swollen today. Can you see my lips? Ow. Oh. It's not bad though. It's not bad. I took some ibuprofen. My lips are swollen because you can tell because I can't actually speak very much. I don't think we've weekly vlogged since I've went and got all my stuff done before. But I got all my Botox topped up and I got fillers in my lips and I actually got a little bit in my chin to try and make me more angular because I hate having a chubby face. It is 20 past nine. Jack. He's just getting ready. He's going to get his leg tattooed today, again. I need to show you guys what it's looking like because it's so nice. But Jack's got his stencil. His whole... What leg is it you've got? Your left or right? What leg is it you've got? Is it your left or right leg? Right leg. So it's Jack's right leg and he's got the whole stencil done and he's got black and grey shade in on the bottom and I think he's getting the top part done today. So he's away all day. Today is Thursday and it is the last day that we've got to get organised before the party on Saturday. So... I'm so excited, I'm a bit stressed, a bit stressed. I've never really had a party before and we've not had a party in this house. <clears throat> Are you excited? Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Hey, see you soon, love you. Ah, swollen face. Good boy, see you soon.
I've ended up sitting doing nothing for two hours. Well, not two. I sat and did work, but now I'm looking for my slippers because I'm cold. And I'm gonna sit and get these Brad made bucks. There's my slippers! Whoa! You wanna hold it? You wanna hold it? What? You got it, it's quite heavy. Yeah. <laughs> look, now you can see. Can you see me? Can you see me, look? Hello. <laughs> <She's> so... <laughs> You're so good at it. Look, can you see? Can you say hi? Hi. Hello. Look here. You're oh. so good. What are you gonna film? Are you gonna film Drogba? Terrible impression of me. That's morning. Weird. Morning. Oh my god. Mo morning. <laughs> morning. Oh. I went to do my makeup. I've got some work to do. The guys from Buy Me Lifestyle are coming up today to help get the house set up. It's going to be pretty crazy today. Makeup, work, pack. I need to pack all the girls' boxes. They've got no idea. And then meeting the girls at 2 pm at Blaisford Square. And then after Blessed Square, Jack's picking me up and we're going to go and hang out with Conor McGregor. And that's what's happening. And that's what's happening. We are excited. I've still bruised a bit, but my face is calmed down loads. This morning has been pretty crazy. Um, the guys are here. Well, Yasmin's here and they're setting up the garden right now. I am about five minutes away from leaving the chaos to go to a spa. <laughs> I'm ditching this and I'm going to the spa. I've got everything packed. I've got my outfit packed for later, I've got the boxes packed to ask my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids. At 13 hundred on my right hand side. At 14 anywhere. At 30, at 14 hundred sir, thank you. At 15 hundred. We are back in the car. That was really cool. Conor McGregor is such a nice guy. Ah, he was really good. Wasn't he? He was fucking funny. He is funny. He came out and he said that his suit was a little bit tight. <laughs> because he's been in Ibiza and having fun and eating pasta. Spending that Mayweather money. Yeah, he said that he's been eating pasta and getting his girlfriend to rub his belly like a dog. Like a dawn. Like a dawn. <laughs> What's a dawn? Like a dog. Like a dawn, like a king, like a... Like a dog. Oh shit, right, like okay. I thought he said like a dog and I was like, oh, I do clap dog with his belly like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was just holding on to his suit and he was like, I'm really sorry, uh, my button just popped off my suit and I was not listening to what you were saying. Uh, it was really, really funny. So basically the whole reason that we got to go there tonight, I'm I met tons of you guys there. I met tons of you guys there. We were getting photos and it was really, really nice. And the whole reason that we were there was because Kong Events, who basically put together their whole event 
and like Connor's meet and greet and the whole thing. The girl Sarah we were speaking to is saying that next year they're going to be looking at different events in LA and stuff like that. So it's a huge big company. Um, they got in touch, Sarah got in touch and asked us if we would like to go. We would like to go and sit and listen to Conor McGregor and meet him. It was a really, really fun night. We're just heading home now. That is the end of the week. Kind of, not really. Technically we'd be filming tomorrow, but we ain't, we ain't filming tomorrow. I forgot to actually say when I was in the spa, but you guys saw the footage. I asked my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids. It was the best day. They were all happy and they all said yes. So I've got my maid of honor is Cara. And then my bridesmaids are Charlotte, Jade and Claire, who I'm sure that you'll meet whether they like her or not. But um, I was just sitting and looking at them and my heart was just so full of love because they're all such amazing people and I can't wait. And then Jade bloody texts me saying that she can't, that she loves me to bits and she can't wait to be there with me when we're down the aisle and me and you're gonna get married. And then I totally welled up, didn't I? Yeah. I was like, Jade. The my ugly Kim K crying face. Really, really amazing week. Now, time for our party tomorrow. Are you excited? This is the weekend, just beginning. Are you excited? Yeah, can't wait. Party tomorrow, buzzing. We're gonna do a big video on it. And Jack's gonna do some really cool filming of the party, hopefully, and we're gonna put together a little video just to show you guys what the engagement party was like. Just, you know, so you can, you can be there too. So we're really, really excited. All our pals are excited. We've never thrown a party, really, no. together, ever. Anything you would like to say to the vlog to end the week? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching, love you, bye!